Welcome to Graphic Island Tutorial. Today we'll create food menu design. So first let's do the page setup. Change the unit to inches. In height give 11 inches. In width give 17.07 .07 inches. Change the color mode to CMYK. This is the printing color we are choosing. And here choose 300 ppi and create the page. Now from the toolbar take this rectangular tool and here give width 5.69 and give the height 11 inches and create it. Now bring the shape to the center of the page and align it to the left. Now go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place and align horizontally and vertically center. Select this and change the fill color. Remove the outline color of the shape. Similarly, select this one, change the fill color and remove the outline color. Now take pencil tool and here draw a shape using freehand which will help to create paper cutting effect on our design. Now close the shape and fill this with color. Select the objects and do minus front. Now drag the down object and fill the gap. Now select this one. Take mesh tool and create a mesh grid here. Just click over this. This will form a mesh grid like this. This mesh grid will help us to create nice graphic effects on our design. Now drag the colors and drop it on the mesh. This way you can create a nice graphics. Keep on dragging and dropping colors on the mesh tool until you create a nice stunning graphics. From here you can open more colors and drag and drop again. To create a nice graphics using the mesh tool, you need to have a proper color selection. Now the first shape is ready. Select the second shape and change the color to black. Let me bring this ready-made icon shape in our design. Let me ungroup them and select up to this. Drag it and place it here. Select this one, reflect and bring this one down. Delete those extended shapes. Select both the shape, change the color and unite them. Select these two. Go to object and group it and reflect it on the other side. Copy. Align the reflected shape to the right. Now drag the center image and fill the gap on the right side. Now using rectangular tool here draw a rectangle. Inside of this rectangular shape we will apply images. Drag the shape using Alt key and make a duplicate. Now change the color to red. Select both the shape, go to Offset, Path, Offset, Path. Here give negative offset.
and change the color to white. Let's use some decorative elements for our menu design. So this is a food menu. That's why we are using green leaves here. Similarly, open few more decorative elements and place it in our design. Now open your brush collection and drag and drop brushes on your artboard. If you don't have this brush collection, you can check out the recent video uploaded by Graphic Island to download those brushes. Similarly, drag these brushes as well. Let me edit these brushes because it has too much uh, big black spots here. Let me remove. Open the brush library and drag your brush to the brush library. Select the art brush. OK. Similarly, drag and drop to the brush library. Now delete them. Now take paint brush. Select the art brush from the brush library and drag it and make a shape here. So this will create a nice effect on your graphic design. Now do multiple selection using shift key, expand it and unite it, change the color. Similarly, do multiple selection here expand it after expanding now unite the shape and change the color now select the rectangles and bring them to the front let's drag and drop more brushes on our artboard Drag it and make the size bigger. Change the color to red. Now drag it using Alt key and make a duplicate and place it here. Make one more duplicate and place it here. Let's drag one more brush from here and drop it to our artboard. Rotate it using Shift key. Change the color to red. make it little dark so that it can match up with the black background now drag it towards down now distort it once again let's place it towards left hand side Now drag it using Alt key and make a duplicate. Ctrl D and repeat this transformation. Do multiple selection using Shift key. Take them to the center and from here give some transparency so that it can better match up with the background. Now using text tool here write the text. Change the color of the text to white. Now take rectangular tool here, draw a rectangle. Now take pencil tool and create a paper cutting effect here. Using shape builder tool, create a shape. delete those unnecessary elements so here the shape is not perfect so we are recreating the paper effect shape here and do minus front
now fill the design with text now here draw a rectangle remove the fill color and keep outline expand it change the color Using pen tool, draw a straight line here. Change the color to white. Drag it using Alt can make a duplicate. So here I am dragging our logo. You can use your own logo here. Remove the fill color and give the outline color. Increase the stroke. Now write the text here. Change the font. You can add more decorative elements here if you want. So as a graphic designer, you must have lots of collections of graphic arts with you. Whenever you need it, you can apply it and save your time. So here we are opening the images. Now place this one here and this one at the bottom will apply. Now take this to the front. Similarly this down rectangle will bring it to the front so that we can make a mask. Now select both and click on mask. Similarly, we'll create mask for this. Using text tool here write food item names, details and the cost. Drag the text using Alt can make a duplicate and place it here. Change the color of the text. Drag the text using Alt key, make duplicate and place it here.
and we are done this is the end product of the design hope you understand the complete process of food menu creating using adobe illustrator cc software and here i am abul mansoor wish you all the best see you in next video have a nice day